All right, kids, I'm going to do one more question for you, 35A. It's by far the hardest question you could have. So if you do this one, you could probably do the rest. So let's zoom in. Okay, now if you look at the drawing, you got to count up the sides. There's nine sides. Now that's going to be difficult to draw, so I'm not even going to try. What I am going to do is come down maybe like this and just deal with the bottom part. So if I put in the center, okay, and then I draw my apothem, and then I draw my radius, which they said is 11. Remember, the apothem is perpendicular, okay? So the formula, A equals 1 half AP. Okay, I'm going to work over here because I know I need room. What is my apothem? Well, we got to figure out how many degrees is this angle right there? Okay, well, if there's nine sides, does it make sense that there are nine wedges of pizza if I drew the whole thing? Okay, well, how many wedge, how many degrees is in this one wedge? Well, if you think about it, 360 in a circle, so 360 divided by nine is 40 degrees. But we only want half of it, right? Because check this out, if I did that, we only want half of the wedge, which is 20 degrees. Okay, so now we could find my apothem. We're going to need some trigonometry. Okay, if your finger is on the 20, the A is the adjacent, the 11 is the hypotenuse. So that is cosine. So cosine of an angle, in this case it's 20, is equal to a hopin. If we cross multiply, my apothem is equal to 11 cosine of 20. So I'm going to put that right in here, 11 cosine of 20. Okay, now we got to find the perimeter. Well, that means we need this little nugget right there. But think about it. If we get this little guy here, we got to double it. Okay, but then how many of those sides do you have? Nine. So you got to double it, then multiply it by nine, which is the same thing as multiplying by 18. But let me give myself a little room to maneuver. Okay. So let's try and find the value of x so we can double it. Well, that's if, if your finger's on 20, that x is the opposite 11 is hypotenuse, so that's sine. So the sine of 20 is equal to some old horse, okay? You with me? Cross multiply, x is equal to 11 sine 20. But that's the value of x, so you got to double it which is 22 sine of 20. Remember, don't go double in that 20. But then you got to multiply by 9 because there's 9 sides. So that was 18, 198. So that is my perimeter, 198 sine of 20. You pop that all into the calculator. You got to be careful with the parentheses or just do it in pieces, okay? But don't round until the end you're going to get about 350 units squared, okay? Now, just, I'll give you the answers for, uh, which I already did C for you. So the answer to B is about 81.2 units squared. And the answer to 36 is about 387 feet squared. Let me know if you want to see those worked out. Until then, take a break.